you don't want to fall victim to a corporate screw up, oh, like Google accidentally deleting the email of thousands of its users forever, then you may just want to back up that Gmail account. But uh, how do you back up a website? It turns out there's more than one approach. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt from CNET, and I'll show you how. One of the easiest ways to back up webmail is through a web-based backup tool. There are a bunch of these out there, including Backupify, which you can also use to archive Facebook, Twitter, and Picasa web albums. Setup is extremely simple. After registering for an account, you select the services you'd like to see backed up. Just authorize your permission, then wait two to three days for your archive to appear. The free account gets you two gigabytes of storage and weekly backups for up to five services. But prolific emailers may want to upgrade to one of the subscription plans. Another option is to save all that email data on your computer's hard drive. In Gmail settings, find the forwarding tab and click the first option to enable pop for all mail, even if it's already been downloaded. Make sure that first option in the drop-down box is selected to keep your Gmail messages visible and active in your online inbox. Don't forget to save changes. But that's just the beginning. Pop setup is the first step. You also have to have a desktop client like Outlook, Thunderbird, or Apple Mail to receive your Gmail messages. Luckily, Google lists step-by-step -step instructions for configuring mail in these supported desktop apps, so you won't be left in the dark. This downloading technique can be free if you use a free client like Mozilla's Thunderbird, but the problem is that clients can tend to be slow to load. And if you don't use them daily to read your mail, you'll have to remember to periodically open them so your most recent messages load. If you don't want to use a desktop inbox, there is a third method. It's a bit of a hack because it uses a separate email service to, that's right, back up your Gmail account. Unfortunately, you can't use Gmail to back up another Gmail account, so you'll need a new or existing account somewhere else. After configuring Gmail's pop settings, open the settings menu on that second account. There should be an option to send and receive mail from another service. Just enter your Gmail credentials there and you should be on your way to automatically receiving all those daily deals and love letters. That's it for this tip, but keep checking back on CNET TV for even more great how-to videos. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt and that's how you back up your Gmail account.